Good morning. Welcome to St. John the 23rd Parish. Today we joyfully gather to share Christ's light as we celebrate Ash Wednesday. Given the ongoing pandemic, we ask that you continue to socially distance and refrain from physical contact outside of your household. At the sign of peace, however, we welcome you to share a friendly wave to those around you. At communion, the communion ministers will go between the rows and come to you. And at the end of Mass, ushers will dismiss each row separately, maintaining safe social distance. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding. Now please rise and join in singing our gathering hymn, This is the Time of Fulfillment. <clears throat> This is the time of fulfillment. The reign of God is at hand. This is the time of fulfillment. The reign of God is at hand. Go pray in your room and close your door and close your door this is the time of fulfillment the reign of god is at hand pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent, and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation. Assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach, with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our responsorial psalm is, Be merciful, O Lord. Merciful, O Lord, we have sinned, we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, we have sinned, we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, from my guilt, and cleanse me, O oh Lord, from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you alone have I sinned, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight? I have done. Be merciful, O Lord. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, O Lord, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again your joy of your help, Lord, with a spirit of fervor sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, we have sinned, we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, 
In an acceptable time, I heard you. And on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Praise and honor to you, O Lord, O Lord. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, O Lord, O Lord. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise and honor to you, O Lord, O Lord. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, so they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, Anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, here we are, Lent. Lent in a pandemic. Seems like to me I've been in Lent since last March. When a lot of things have changed, we had to change our routines, we couldn't gather, a lot of deprivation going on in the last year. So maybe it's a really a challenge to how are we going to celebrate and use this season of Lent, these 40 days, in preparation for our celebration of Easter. And we heard Jesus give us three things to think about. First of all, prayer. How can I use this time to go a little bit deeper in my relationship with Jesus and with God? Fasting. What is it I need to get rid of, of all the other things that I've gotten rid of, so that I can make space and room in my heart and my life for that presence and action of God? And then almsgiving. How thankful am I for the good things that God has given me, even in the midst 
of all the troubles and tribulations that we have. And how willing am I to share that, especially with people in need in the world around us. So some important things to think about. And even our distribution of ashes is different this year, as I'll explain to you in a few minutes after we bless the ashes. But it's all that challenge about finding our way and maybe being separated a little bit more, we'll be able to focus on that prayer and that relationship with God that will give us strength as we continue to move forward in the midst of this pandemic. So I'm going to invite you to stand now, please. So I pray the prayer of blessing over the ashes we'll use for the distribution. Dear brothers and sisters, let us hum humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on us in penitence. O oh God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out your grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes that as they follow their Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Repent and believe in the Gospel. For our distribution of ashes, the ministers will be walking through the pews just like we do at communion time. We will not be touching you. We will not be making the cross on your forehead. What we ask you to do is when we come to you is simply bow forward a little bit and we will be sprinkling ashes on the crown of your head. So if you have a hat on, I see a few of us here have hats on, you'll have to take those off for the sprinkling of the ashes. We won't be saying anything to you so there'll be no communication but this will be done in silence. All right, I think we're ready to go here.
Please stand. And now we lift our voices in prayer as we present our needs to the Father. For God's holy church, as we strive to carry forward Jesus' mission through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the spirit of reconciliation might flourish throughout the world, among nations and societies, among families and neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide your church to live the heart of the gospel message with joy, thanksgiving, and humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in this faith community, that we may grow in understanding the mercy of God this Lenten season and deepen our relationship with him through prayer, meditation, and study of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Martha and Jerry Bowles and all our beloved dead, may they enter into eternal life with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts and for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, be with us on our journey of Lent. And listen to the prayers and answer them according to your holy will, which we present to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. As our gifts are gathered and the altar is prepared, please join in singing the glory of these 40 days. sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we solemnly offer you the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of your grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. All day, all day. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, Richard, James, and Jeffrey, our bishops, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. John the 23rd, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray with confidence in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And let us share with one another a sign of peace. Agnus Dei. Agnus Dei. Agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you wish to receive Holy Communion, we ask you to please stand and remain in place. We will walk through the congregation and distribute the body of Christ to you in your hand only. If you need a low-gluten host, please kneel or be seated and wait until the regular hosts are distributed. Then stand and we will distribute communion in low-gluten form. If you wish to receive Holy Communion on the tongue, please remain in your place at the conclusion of Mass. And when the rest of the congregation is dismissed, we will distribute the body of Christ in that manner.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Upon conclusion of Mass, we ask you to please remain in place until prompted by an usher to exit. This will ensure a safe social distance that we ask you to maintain all the way through leaving our parish property. And thank you for abiding by these and many other restrictions we've imposed for the safety of all concerned. I miss a weekend I just all missed. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. As we go forth to joyfully live our call, please join in singing our song of sending forth, Again We Keep the Solemn Fast. <laughs> 